Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we're going to go in depth into using the frayed edges style with Arnold renders or with any kind of offline renders. So we've gotten a lot of requests from you guys that you want to like mix and match different renders together. So we decided to make this tutorial for you so that you can render using any renderer you want within Maya and then applying the frayed edges so that the edges are broken and so that you have a very nice ray traced result with frayed edges that can even be art directed. So let's get right to it. In here, I have an Arnold render that I just rendered out. This is the Wispies. And we're gonna apply the frayed edges to this first using Maya, but then also in Nuke as well. So if we go here and change your renderer back to MNPRX, you're gonna see that the, first of all, the, the render is quite, quite black. And this is because this is pretty much a result of viewport 2.0 with uh, MNPRX style applied to it, right? So as for the style, I went here and I applied the frayed edges style. Once you apply the frayed edges style, you're gonna see that the Arnold result is already frayed within within Maya. So this is something that we want to then recreate, but not with the viewport render, actually with the Arnold render, right? So in order to achieve this, the only things that you need to actually render from MNPRX are two targets. So if we take a look at the Nuke Freight stylization, which looks a little bit like this, then you have two different columns. One of them is to pretty much recreate pigment density and all of these different types of effects that Freight Edges also has. However, if you just want to use an offline render, you will pretty much only need this part here. And this part here, you can load in any offline render from Maya and then combine it with Freight Edges to have the Freight Edge result of an Arnold or a Redshift or whatever renderer you use together with MNPRX to achieve, in this case, Freight Edges. So let's get to it. We already rendered out the Arnold result. So if we took, take a look at our Arnold renderer, this is how it looks like. I have locked the camera so that everything's exactly the same. And from MNPRX, as you can see here in the new stylization, we only need the inflated noise and the canvas control. The canvas control is what would uh, control the frayness or how frayed uh, objects are in different parts, right? Uh, we can control this with paint effects. For this case and this showcase, I'm just gonna render this out. So I go into the target sequencer and then I only select the canvas control target and I only select the inflated noise target. So once I go here, I just want to render frame zero, the same resolution in which we rendered the Arnold result and also the same camera. So once I set this up, I don't need a name folder because I'm just going to save this as um, MNPRX. So I'm gonna save it here. And I hit on render targets. Now that it's rendered, we can load this in Nuke to combine it with the Arnold render. Let's go back to Nuke and I'm gonna create a new read node. Now that we're in the folder where the Arnold render and the MNPRX renders are, we can load them in. So I'm first gonna load the Arnold render and then I will load the MNPRX renders. Inflated noise as well. So as you can see here, the canvas control target, because we have not really added any paint effects to control the, the frayness of the edges, is going to be entirely black. We have our inflated noise here and we have our Arnold render. So I'm gonna hook them up 
and all right here we place the color this is going to be our new color so we have already some frayed edges however these frayed edges will be from this AOV here and we want it to be controlled by this AOV of course you can always simply replace the files and then you will have it working as expected but for the sake of this tutorial I'm creating all these nodes individually and all right so the noise comes from here and the canvas control comes from here and there we go now we have an Arnold render with frayed edges from MNPRX. So we're grabbing these frayed edges and applying them into this Arnold render and outputting them. And that's pretty much all there is to it. One last thing that I want to explain about this is that while the AOV is provided by MNPRX, so there's no way to modify the frequency once it's rendered, we can change the amplitude of the frayed edges. So if we look here in MNPRX, we have the frequency and the amplitude. So the frequency, this one is rendered out. There's no way to modify this unless we re-render it from MNPRX, but we can modify the amplitude within Nuke. So to do that, we can go here into the stylization backdrop. We double click on it and we'll have an amplitude parameter here. So let me visualize the result. This is the frayed edges result. And once I modify here the amplitude, let's say I put this to two. Here you can see uh, the amplitude actually modifying the frayed edges result because we are not using any other effects for the offline render, only the frayed edges, we don't really care about the remaining attributes. So we care here only about the Arnold render, applying the frayed edges to it and rendering this out. And that's pretty much it. This is how you can combine an Arnold render with an MNPRX render to have frayed edges in your offline renders. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment below. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to be notified about future videos and tutorials we do at Artinuing. If you love what we do, please also consider buying our software or supporting us on Patreon. It really means the whole world to count with your support and it allows us to continue doing this for you. Thank you very much and see you next time.